in in my opinion, it's not the opinion shared by everyone else. Uh, it, biohacking is a, a pretty broad umbrella term. What I think of as biohacking kind of has five pillars. Mm-hmm. So it's it's all being done in a outside of an academic institution or. Uh, business g- generally like you could biohack out one of these uh, by ad- ad- adapting a hacker mindset but we-, we won't go into that so it-, it covers molecular biology microbiology equipment building bioinformatics and grinding so the act of putting technology under your skin mm. and and where would you fall um i would cross all of those all of those so yeah okay oh uh, and um, That's why I decided those are the five pillars. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so some some people. Well, the, the the reason we've created it is there's um, there's a lot of people in the 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 what I would call the real biohacking community that are a bit upset that um, these kind of nutrition hackers and more like body hackers are kind of grabbing onto biohacking as their own term. And this is this is a really recent thing. This has come out in the past year or two. And people have actually been, like, we've been biohacking yeah. since 20, 2006, 2007. And then these guys have seen this cool thing that they can basically jump on the bandwagon of. Right. And there's very little scientific evidence for a lot of it. And it yeah. kind of goes against a lot of what we're doing. Like, in a sense, if you were really heavily looking at the molecular biology and collecting good quality data it would be biohacking. The simple fact of the matter is it's not. Mm. It's used to sell supplements. It's used to um, extract money from people. And there might be some scientific evidence for it. But a lot of it is just completely not in the hack mindset the way we think of it. So nootropics, like um, brain enhancing drugs is another one. But like, I think this is, this is breaking off into something else. So I think one of my friends, for example, who's an awesome thought leader in the biohack community works with plants. And he's like, well, what about ecology? Is like ecology biohacking? And I said, no, no, I think the scale is the scale is different. Yeah. And that the outcomes are different. So yeah. a lot of biohacking actually has kind of close ties to manufacturing and commercialization. Things like ecology are actually kind of more sacred. Right. They're looking at things like terraforming and bigger scale stuff. And then nutrition and stuff is looking kind of it's more like dieting. And I guess dieting right kind of could be considered biohacking right. but i think it's a personal hacking type right. thing there's there's one i think a, a talk that I, that I listened to by amal who is um i, f- I believe he uh, founded grinders um he was talking about how people are trying to supplement vitamin a2 instead of a1 in order to somehow be able to uh see in the infrared spectrum so is that what you mean by this yeah so there's 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 some there's some different so that's that's an interesting one like I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know where I would st- on that. I, it's it's like a kind of a form of grinding, right? Right. But it's not technology. It's that. That's a really tricky one. So you brought up a, a very interesting question. And my my thing is, I don't want biohacking to be associated with supplements. That's okay. that's the big thing, right? I see. Like I don't want to be part of that community because I don't believe it has the benefits they're claiming. I believe it has it, it, a, a lot of people in this space. Not all of them are out there to deceive people. And that has nothing to do with what we're doing in this lab. Mm. Like, I just want to steer the fuck away from that. Yeah. Um, so, like, gene therapy, for example, would be a crossover. Yep. I'm down for gene therapy. Yeah. Like, it works. It's proven. Yep. We know the biological causes, the biological outcomes. That stuff, I'm, like, completely down with. And that kind of goes more into the grinding thing. The, the, vitamin, the vitamin supplement, the vitamin 2 thing, for example, uh, vitamin A2, for example... If they're studying it properly, I'd say it's kind of closer. I'm like a massive skeptic, but whether it will work or not. Yeah. But I guess it kind of is. It's like, I'm just, there's there's kind of this like the vegan kale hippie movement and bulletproof coffee, which kind of is this like, it's its own beast. But I don't think it should be uttered in the same breath as what we're doing. Right, right. And like, that's cool if they, if they want to do it that way. They're very successful. Yeah. It's like that a lot of biohackers aren't. In, in the traditional sense, they're making tons of money, but I'm like, at what cost? And right. and, and and how well do they sleep at night? I see. If they genuinely genuinely believe it and there's evidence for it, well, awesome. But I haven't seen anything that's convincing for me. Right. Okay. Thanks for listening to Blab Coats. Rate and review our podcast on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast, because it does help us spread the word. And if you like what we're doing here, then help us grow it by sharing this with a friend, a friend of a friend, or your mailman, even your mailman's mailman. We also want to hear from you, so send us questions or comments to blabcoats at gmail.com. And if you have any interesting questions or comments, then we'll talk about it on air.